Take us anywhere in New York. Excuse me? Anywhere. Wherever you feel like going. That's not a destination, lady. Wait, you didn't make reservations? Um, okay. Eve, please don't what? get mad at me. Oh, no. I cannot believe this. I need a bottle here, ladies. Look, I was going to tell you when we got on the plane. You know what? That's really sneaky of you, Sarah. I'm not a bloody psychic. But Eve, wait! Wait! No. I knew you wouldn't come if I told you the truth, and I needed my best friend with me. Look, what are you doing, Sarah? Attention. Honestly, Sarah, I don't understand you anymore, okay? Please, tell me something. Tell me anything that makes just a little bit of sense. I've just spent the entire flight staring into the sky, thinking. Not about my fiancé, but about this mystery guy I met a million and a half hours ago. A guy I don't even remember, except for this vague picture I have inside my head. It was just a few seconds. A fragment, really. And it was like, in that moment, the whole universe existed just to bring us together. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm gonna let fate take me wherever it wants to go. Because when all this is over, at least I'm never going to have to think of him ever again. But let's just pray he's a bald fascist who picks his nose and wipes it under the car seat. Hi. Hi. Where you going? You better be buying me one friggin' big birthday cake, that's all I gotta say. Can I get your destination, oh, please? The Waldorf, I guess. Oh, finally she gets it. <laughs> okay, we are going that way. And I'm gonna follow you. 